Right guys, I'm just going to show you a bit more about this Chaegon Elite Ballistic Calculator app. There it is. So let's open it up. I'll go to the equipment screen to start with. And I'll go to change rifle. I've six different rifles uh, saved into it. So we're going to go to the Reximex and just select it. Uh, I'll go to this menu here. This is the scope reticle. And it asks you if it's in first focal plane or not. Uh, there's my zero distance and you have to put the scope height in. If it's not a first focal plane, you have to put the minimum, maximum uh, zoom and where you've, where you've got it set. So we'll come out of that menu. Uh, you can choose different scope ret reticles, but if you want to use any others, you have to uh, pay for the subscription. So I'll just show you what we're using, which is the, uh, not that one. Mill dot. I'm just going to use a mill dot. So I've come back out of there. Back out. So that's that menu there. Barrel twist doesn't really make much difference. I don't know what that is. Uh, and rotation left or right. Not bothering with that. Right. Ammunition. The best ammunition for this gun is the Bisley Long Range Gold. So we've got the length of the pellet. That don't look right, does it? Diameter, weight, and the speed and air temperature. So we'll come back out of that menu. So we've done that. Yeah. Now we're going to go to results. So I've set the distance at 17.5 yards. You can add a uh, slope angle, whether you're shooting uphill or downhill. You can add wind speed and direction, as well as various other things, temperature. So we'll go to this menu here, which shows you the scope reticle. So 18 yards to hit the centre of that, it shows you exactly where you need to be aiming. You can choose different targets, I'll just show you that. We're on the rat at the minute. There's loads and loads of different targets you can choose from. Uh, let's go for that one. And you put in the size of the target. So we'll come back out and then you can see that. And obviously you can change the um, distance at which you're shooting. It will, it will show you where you need to be aiming to at the centre of the target. If you go into this menu here, in results, we're still in results. You can alter this table to whatever parameters you want. I've got it set minimum distance five yards, maximum distance 60 yards. And it's showing you the vertical correction. This is centimetres. So at 45 yards, 45 yards zero, if you're shooting five yards, you would need to shoot 33 millimetres above the target. 10 yards, 15 millimetres above. 15 yards, one millimetre above. And then 20 yards, you're having to shoot eight millimetres under. 14 millimetres under, 17 millimetres under, 16 millimetres under, 11 millimetres under, and zero at 45 yards. On to 50 yards, 11 millimetres over, 30 millimetres over, 48 millimetres over. So nearly two inch old over at 60 yards if your zero is set at 45 yards. I'm not sure it's going to show you in the trajectory, I don't know why. Uh, but you can get a, a graph as well. So I think, I don't think, uh, I'll just, um, just go in here. If, if you go to, these are the ballistic table settings. So you can, like I said earlier, you can alter your parameters. You can also have it tell you uh, MRAD, MOA, SMOA. I've got it set to centimetres at the moment. Or clicks and turret. turret. 
Uh, there is some other info somewhere, if I can remember where it is. Uh, is it additional data? Yeah. Velocity, return velocity, returned energy, muzzle energy, sound speed, or time of flight, all that kind of thing. So there is a lot, a lot to it. So, yeah, and it's it's free unless you want to choose different reticles. And uh, let's just um, see what it wants to do for that. Let me look. So let's try changing the reticle and see what it says. Right. One week for free, then £1.49 a month or 10 quid for a year if you want to change stuff like that. OK, I thought that might be of interest to some of you that like shooting and uh, are well into it. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.